Hi, 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 hi. Welcome to episode four of the Sport Home Freeview Guide. Uh, Chris Benson here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Spread the word, please do. Uh, but a quick glance through the Radio Times, heavily promoting Star, it has to be said this week. We, we've cancelled our Disney Plus subscription because we just weren't watching it. I'm a Britbox man, don't really watch Disney Plus. Um, but anyway, do, you can let me know your thoughts, get in touch, as you always can, at chriscbenson at hotmail.co.uk. I guess the first thing to mention will be that there'll be no test cricket as advertised um, over uh, Friday and Saturday uh, because England have lost already. I don't know what Channel 4 are going to um, fill the schedules with. It was meant to be on, on Sunday as well. So the, it's finished by the end of the second day, uh, India won and... Well, the two one up in the series, so there's one more test still to go. But yeah, very disappointing. Um, Channel Four would be extremely disappointed because they've paid an absolute fortune. Was it seven million? I read that they that they've paid for the rights. So it's supposed to only get two days worth of coverage. Is a bit. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, so no cricket um, this weekend. But what you can look forward to is Six Nations Rugby, the third round of games. Uh, ITV at 1.30 on Saturday has Italy against Ireland, uh, kick off at 2.15. Then on BBC One, there is Wales against England, kicking off at quarter to five. There's another game. BBC One on Sunday at 20 past two, the build-up starts for France v Scotland, kick off at 3 o'clock. Uh, the other interesting thing to mention this weekend, because it's great that it's happened, is there is Premier League football live on the BBC once again this weekend. Um, 12 o'clock kickoff this Sunday, match of the day live, Crystal Palace against Fulham. Um, the Crystal Palace have won the last three meetings between the sides, so will Fulham go that way on Sunday? You'll have to find out. But but it's, it's great that we're seeing another Premier League game for free. The, the Premier League rights for 2022 onwards, I believe, aren't going to be sorted until after this season is finished. But it'd be interesting to see if BBC get any free games going forward um, because there's certainly been a, a you know a, a market from them. They've certainly got good viewing figures. You hope that they'll get a few, but who knows how these things work uh, and who indeed will get the rights uh, for the Premier League from uh, 2022 onwards. That's another story, I guess. Um, you can look out for, though, on um, BBC Red Button uh, from... Friday onwards, lots of Formula E coverage. Um, for example, at 12.45 on Saturday, there's qualifying for the second e Prix from uh, Saudi Arabia, but there's coverage all over. 4.30 on Saturday afternoon, there's the second round of the season. Uh, that's 4.30 on Saturday afternoon, but there's lots on there. So Freeview 601 uh, from Friday onwards, Formula E coverage. Uh, have a look out for that. Um, match of the day, of course, on BBC One, 20 past 10 on Saturday. Goes without saying, doesn't it? Um, I'm old-fashioned. I'd prefer if match of the day just had one big match, a bit like you know, you used to, uh, rather than the, you know, the bite-sized bits you get of each game. Don't know, maybe I'm on my own with that. Um, what the sport to mention? 10.30 ITV4 on Saturday morning, the big match revisited. Uh, action from November 1979. Uh, there is live racing from Kempton Park and Lingfield Park and also Newcastle. That's an ITV4 at 1.30. Um, 6.45 on ITV4, there is the concluding semi-final in the Snooker Players' Championship from Milton Keynes. Uh, the final is on Sunday. And then there's not really any snooker, I think, for about three, four weeks on Freeview uh, until the next tournament on ITV4. So enjoy. I know the Gibraltar Open is scheduled to be on Eurosport. Stephen Hendry playing his first game in nine years, but there is no Freeview coverage of that. Now, you kind of hope that Eurosport will make some available on YouTube. And I tweeted earlier saying, come on, Quest, put at least that match on. It'd be great for people to see. But there doesn't look like there's any plans to do that. It looks like it's just on Eurosport only, uh, which is a bit of a shame. I think it, I think there'll be a lot of interest to see Stephen Hendry in action again. But uh, uh, never mind, it's one of those things. Um, so if we flip through the, the rest of the week, uh, match of the day two on Sunday at 10.30. Um, so that includes highlights of Sheffield United against Liverpool uh, and Chelsea v Manchester United, which I know my son in there, Eric, would have particular uh, interest in. Um, moving on through the week, it's perhaps a quieter week 
than normal. But if I go, I'll go to the, the end of the week because BBC Two has the European Indoor Athletics Championships from Poland. Day one, next Friday, uh, 9 o'clock on BBC Two and there's coverage in the evening as well on BBC Two uh, and also additional coverage on the red button. So that's the European Indoor Championships which gets underway from Poland on Friday the 5th of March. Well worth putting in your diary. Um, also worth mentioning, uh, next Friday on ITV4 is day one of the UK Open Darts. Uh, I'm still I'm still catching up with the sport in there. I've uh, got so many things I'm trying to watch and I'm still catching up with the Masters from a few weeks ago and I'm up to the quarter finals at the moment. Um, but I, I love ITV4's coverage of the darts. They do take it seriously and their coverage of the UK Open Darts begins 12 o'clock next Friday. That's the 5th of March as well, so well worth uh, looking out for. Um, in terms of cricket, uh, the opening day of the final test uh, will get underway in the early hours of Thursday morning on Channel 4, uh, 10 to 4, so uh, not as sociable as what the time would have been for this test, but this test has finished early, so the fourth test gets underway in the early hours of Thursday morning, of course, it will carry on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and it's the final test. It's also, sadly, the final uh, free coverage for now because Sky have bought the rights to the one day and the, uh, the quick games. So never mind, it is the last live cricket game for a while on free viewing feature in England, so make the most of it. Uh, there will be, of course, highlights after the play on more four on each day, so well worth uh, remembering. Um, just going back to athletics on Thursday, just as a, a precursor to the athletics on Friday, on Thursday at 5.30, there are the qualifying rounds for the European Indoor Championships at Poland. That's at 5.30 on BBC Red Button. That's Freeview 601. Um, another one to mention, um, because I do think it's worth including, and I'll try and get an answer from uh, BBC Red Button on this, uh, 5.25 on Saturday night, they've got live Irish football, uh, live coverage of Dungannon v Glen Torren in the Premiership, kickoff at half past five. Now, it's not on the Freeview Red Button channel. It could be because of um, uh, rights issues there. It could well be, but it is on BBC iPlayer. You can stream it. Uh, you just can't watch it via the aerial, so you have to go on BBC iPlayer to watch that one. That's at five twenty-five. Live Irish football, Dungannon v Glen Torren. So. Worth mentioning, you can't be a bit, no, no point turning down a bit of football, is there? Um, the other thing is just to flick through in case I've uh, missed anything. Remember, do get in touch, Chris C. Benson at hotmail.co.uk. Always love to hear from you. I think, in terms of sport, that could be it for this week. Um, I'm just having a very quick look now, making sure I've not missed anything. Um, I, I don't think I have. So I'll be back with more next uh, next week, of course. Six Nations is definitely it, probably the, the highlight. Uh, and of course, oh, there's another Irish football game. Look at that. Tuesday night, 7.25, uh, live coverage of Glen Torren. The Linfield in the Premiership, that kicks off at 7.30. But a note again, it's only on the BBC iPlayer. It's not on the BBC Red Button channel. Um, so just online only if you like but, it, but it's still it's still football that's how I see it um, I'm just making sure there's nothing on Wednesday uh, no I think that you know I think that's about it for this week but there's still plenty out there there's still plenty of sport out there um, and hopefully I've pointed you pointed you uh, in the right direction for some that's how I see it anyway um, that that's it for me for this week. Have a fantastic week, all of you. Um, I'll be back with more sport on Freeview next week. Um, so you've got athletics as well, cricket, Irish football, loads to put in your diary. And if you need to rewind, go and make a note of the bits that you found interestful. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye.